Welcome to the Room to Room Field App video tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to use the Field App on the job to record inspection data. You may have noticed that the mouse cursor is visible. This app is primarily intended to be used on touchscreen devices, though you can use it on a device such as a laptop, which has a mouse and keyboard. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm using the mouse so that you can see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and start a new inspection. These are the two options we have. Uh, you can do new inspection, which is a totally blank one. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do that because you'd have to add all the rooms. So let's go new from template. And here are all the templates that we have in our library. Uh, small house, large house, duplex, and condo. You can't add any new templates into the library here but you can do that in the room to room desktop software and then you can simply export that library and load the library into the field app we'll go over how to do that a little bit later for now let's uh, go ahead and open the duplex template and click load this is our blank duplex inspection now if you're not aware of it um, in room to room Besides having your rooms and your groups and items underneath each room, uh, these would be rooms here, you also have units if you're doing a multi-unit inspection. And this is technically the general unit. Um, everything like the exterior, the roof, um, maybe the crawl space would be under that because both units share um, those same areas. Then you have unit 1 and unit 2, and these are specific rooms for each unit each unit's bathroom and kitchen and so on. So you can switch between those simply by um, navigating that list box at the top. And if you were on your inspection you would simply work your way through each one. So let's say we are in unit one. By the way this list will not appear if you are not doing a duplex or any kind of multi-unit inspection. So just be aware of that. So this is our main screen in the app and we can navigate to all the rooms from here. So let's go ahead and go to the kitchen. Now this is our kitchen room in unit one and it has all of the groups underneath that room. Um, if you're not aware of the different categories in an inspection, I would recommend watching the room to room desktop software tutorial. That'll help you get a better idea. Uh, let's go ahead and click the general group. Now this is where the magic of the room to room field app really comes to life. Here on the left we have all of our items under the general group and these are the conditions in the middle and um, I'm using my mouse wheel to scroll on that list there but you can drag that or use your finger on a touch screen to move up and down. So um, this box on the right is our description box and it contains the conditions that you are reporting. So let's say in the kitchen um, there are no screens on the windows. You can go ahead and touch or click that. It'll fill that in for you. And then if you had another item like the uh, let's say the, the frames are aluminum framed and they're single pane so they're not very energy efficient and you want to report that. Let's add that. Room to room automatically put that transition in there for us. So you basically don't have to type anything. Then you can set a recommendation. We would want to put general contractor. Uh, we could put this as needs attention for a status. And if you wanted to add that to the summary, which we can do, you would click that right there. This is really the beauty of room to room. Um, you basically just touch the conditions you want and it puts them together for you so when you get back to your office you don't have to do any typing. But sometimes you really will run into a special situation where there's nothing in your comment library that fits uh, what you need to report. Let's say under door conditions um, there's a hinge missing on a kitchen door 
and you don't have anything here that really fits that. So you would simply click or touch the description box and uh, by the way if you have a touch screen device an on-screen keyboard will appear uh, when you touch that box. So you can type missing hinge oops, and um, then you click flag that item and this will cause room to room to alert you uh, the desktop software that is when you try to export a PDF file it'll say hey you have items in your report that are flagged uh, meaning they're not complete and you don't want to uh, export that PDF yet because this is what will go into the report here um, so it's a good way of making sure you don't miss anything you can get back to it later you can move on when you're on the job because you don't have a lot of time um, also if you wanted to add a note down on the bottom right you can click add note you could type something like add to comment library you can remind yourself that you want to add something about hinges to the comment library then you click done and you're good to go so there are a couple other features on this screen that you need to be aware of you can add an item by clicking that at the top it appears at the bottom of the list and uh, by the way you can't uh, reorder the items in the field app but you can in the desktop software you can set a name at the bottom let's say we are doing some um, well we have a group set apart for uh, cabinets and counters but let's say for some reason we're adding that here hit enter or touch away from the box where you type the name and it will update now we have no conditions in this item because we just added it and we could simply type something up real quick and flag it and when we get home we could uh, fix it up real nice or you have the option to link to your library um, clicking that button up here and you can hit cancel at any time if you change your mind so what you do is you first choose a room we're looking for a cabinet so let's go to the bathroom then you choose a group under bathroom counters and in uh, item cabinet conditions choose that and then click OK so what we just did is we linked cabinets to cabinet conditions from the bathroom and we now have all of those conditions here we can use to report uh, with you might not want to go through all that you could just type it up and edit it later but it's there if you need it um, we'll just say the drawers slide poorly we can click that uh, needs attention we recommend general contractor and that item is done you can delete an item um, by simply clicking delete item at the bottom left it will ask you if you're sure hit yes and the item disappears um, if you wanted to delete this entire group general you could click delete group on the top right I'll hit no for the moment because I want to show you one more thing how to rename a group simply touch or click that title and you can type whatever you want um, but let's go ahead and delete that hit yes the entire general group disappeared and um, that's basically how you delete it you can easily add another group from this screen and it appears down here you can open that up and it's totally empty so we'll add it for our first item and as you can see it's pretty easy to change things around and do whatever you like so let's go back out to the um, kitchen room and here we have all our groups again um, the only other thing you need to be aware of on this screen is the toolbar at the bottom and if you're not familiar with Windows 8 apps you can access the toolbar on the bottom by swiping up um, on a touchscreen device or you can right click with the mouse 
and the only option you have here is to delete the entire room so this will delete the entire kitchen room and you can try that I'll hit yes it'll go back to the main screen uh, auto saving there and um, the kitchen room is completely gone and by the way you notice how it auto saved uh, it'll do that every once in a while when you navigate back to this main screen so just leave it alone for a second and it won't take very long and um, you can use that autosave to recover your inspection in case your system crashes or something. However, you don't want to rely on that autosave uh, file because you're not going to access that unless you need to recover an inspection. Let's say your computer crashed because the battery ran out and you didn't save. Then you would use the autosave recovery feature, which I will show you in just a minute. But Otherwise, you're going to want to save the inspection yourself every once in a while. You can do that on the main screen by either swiping up from the bottom or right-clicking. And um, you can choose Save or Save As for a new file name. Let's uh, go ahead and save over Tutorial 2. Click Save. And hit Yes. There are a couple other buttons on the toolbar that you can use. Uh, the first is the main menu button on the bottom right. And uh, this will take you back to the main menu, but you should be aware that it will close your current inspection. So you need to make sure you save before you do that. Let's hit no for the moment. The other button is the view summary button, which will take you to a summary page that you can use to go over the major items with your client. We have general unit 1 and unit 2. Um, at the moment we have no summary items because we deleted the kitchen room that had uh, the one item we marked as a summary. But those will appear here if you have any. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. Now here is the recover inspection button. This will load the last autosave. So we can click that, and it successfully loaded our inspection. And we can go to Unit 1, and we see that the kitchen is missing because we deleted it. Um, so it successfully recovered our last autosave. Um, but you're still going to want to save your inspection on the bottom left as soon as possible because the next time the program autosaves, it will overwrite the last autosave. So make sure you save after doing a recovery. Let's go back to the main menu. Finally, there are just a couple other buttons you need to be aware of. You can use load an inspection to continue an inspection that you were uh, working on earlier. Uh, import library will load a library from the desktop software. And uh, you can see how to export a library from the desktop software in the first tutorial video. Um, Basically, because you can't edit a library in the field app, you do all that in the desktop software and then uh, import that file here and then all of your library content will be uh, updated and you'll have any new templates you made, any new uh, item conditions, it'll all be right here. So that's it for our video tutorial on how to use the room to room field app. Uh, just so you're aware, if you really don't want to use the field app, um, you don't have to use it on your inspection. You can use the desktop software and um, that will work totally fine. This is just a touchscreen interface designed to make it easier. You can carry around a tablet easier than you can a laptop, um, but it's up to you. And whatever option you choose, we wish you the very best.